it is my pleasure and privilege uh, to have uh, professor s padmanavan with us today and uh, he is the first professor to join iit madras so we would like uh, he, uh, we would like him to share his experiences uh, um, during the early days and later in iit madras so sir welcome to heritage center iit madras yes. uh, so um, uh, would you like to share how did you join iit madras because uh, you were among the first yes. to join so please sir. at the time when i iit madras was planned it was called the institute of higher technology and at the at the ministry of education in delhi they called for an interview as a teaching staff for engineering drawing at that time i had already done my upsc examination as in the engineering services and got the second rank so i was very sure i would get a good job in the railways or defense so i had a very easy time taking the interview because they offered me railway fare to new delhi and back and at the interview i remember dr al modaliar as the main chairman and some expert from germany and also from indian experts they were asking me questions interviewing about engineering drawing and i was feeling so confident that i asked them why don't you give me a piece of paper and pencil so i could explain to you what what i'm thinking of so we so i came back and within two weeks i got the i got the invitation i got the appointment order to join iit it was not called iit still at the at the leather research institute in adyar in chennai there was the office mr chandrakant was sent as a special officer to administer the start of everything he had already made arrangements for classrooms in the ac college of technology and administrative offices in borrowed rooms in the leather, leather research institute and this area was donated now where we are now here was donated by the government of tamil nadu then it's called government of madras this was a part of raj this hunting hunting area of the governor of madras the british governor used to go, go here hunting animals and that's why there are a number of deer left over from those times and the buildings buildings work started slowly and it was one full year we were at the as ac college of technology sir which day did you join do you remember the date date i remember only may 59 may 59 yes so july 31st it was inaugurated hmm? the iit we have the inaugural stone uh, iit madras no. was officially inaugurated 31st july 1959 yes so do you remember about this inauguration the inauguration i don't remember okay okay, okay. you see because humayun kabir he came why and I'm, inaugurated why i am telling you that it was i was no i do not know much about the inauguration because two of us Pad, my sir padmanabhan and srinivasan were the first staff members 
Then there were applications from experienced people for posts of professors. So, and the administrative staff, Mr. Natarajan, did not want to give these papers, application papers, to clerical staff to process, pre-process it. So you, we were employed as teachers, Srinivasan and me. We, got, we were requested to process these applications and prepare a tabular form so that the later it could be processed by the chiefs. So we, we knew immediately that one Mr. Sen Gupta has been already selected as director. So Sen Gupta came afterwards. We were already there. We were already teaching. There was chemical, chemi chemistry, physics and mathematics. Hmm? The basic subjects were, were already set up. And then later on also it... Sir, which branch did you join and Professor Srinivasan? Which branches? We joined as lecturers. Okay. We were not professors. Okay. We were youngsters, young people. I was 23 and he was 25. But what were you, were, uh, what were you teaching? Hmm? Which subjects were you teaching that time? Yes. What bran which branches particularly were you teaching? My specialty was descriptive geometry, that is geometrical drawing. Hmm? Three, dimen three dimensions in one di in two dimensions. That is the and I think my students found me rather strict. Mr. Srinivasan, my colleague, had a better chance because he was also the warden of a hostel. And he was himself a cricket player. I'm not that sportly. So, uh, uh, so, so uh, uh, then uh, the college, the classes were in AC Tech and Highway Resuscitation. So, yes. where, uh, like, uh, about that, can you tell us about the teaching and all? Because you both professors were there. Yes. You, you were there, and Professor Srinivasan was there. So, who were your colleagues? Uh, who are the like other professors or le or lecturers, the staff members yes, who yes. all joined after you? Yes. And then, and then. Uh, Later, we had Srinivas and I hmm, processed also the applications of professors hmm, who are going to be our bosses <laughs> later on. <laughs> so, when the mechanical engineering professor R.G. Narayan Murthy, who was later director here, was named, we knew everything about him. <laughs> so, but, but that was a very strict request from the director, not one word of confidentiality should go out. So, it was a great honor for su such young people to be given responsibility of confidentiality. Then, under the DAAD system, um, Srinivasan and I were sent to Germany. He was sent to specialize in fluid mechanics, and I was sent to specialize in Fine, fine, tech, fine work technique, which, which is equivalent to instrumentation and control systems. So, after, after specialization in that field, came back and was teaching further and putting up the new laboratory for instrumentation and control systems. I wasn't teaching any more drawing. Hmm? That, okay. And 
stayed around here, did my, finished my doctorate here. I was the first doctorate in mechanical engineering for an IIT Madras. And funnily, I met a girl in Germany, I just getting to know her, I was talking about my mother who was a direct student of Dr. Montessori. Dr. Montessori was here in Adyar between 38 and 42 and because she was an Italian citizen, she was put under house arrest during the war. Italy was the enemy of Britain. And it was a fortune that she could hold courses for teaching, teaching Montessori method. I was talk to, talking to this girl about it and she was actually getting training as a kindergarten teacher and so she was excited about it. And she visited me here. We got engaged. Oh, that's so and nice. <laughs> later, around early 1968, I left for Germany and continued there. But I have been in contact with IIT a long time. But so you were in IIT till 1968? 68, beginning of 68. Beginning of 68. So, uh, sir, you have experienced the initial formation of IIT Madras. Yes. Uh, so, start, uh, starting from the classes in AC Tech College, the offices in CLRI, yes. classes in AC yes. Tech College and Highway yes. Registration. Hmm. So, and the faculty and staff members who came from Germany, sir, do you remember uh, them? The, uh, yes. About because it was yes. all mm, the, started like that. In in, in uh, there were some professors from IIT Karakpu who were recruited here. Why I remember the professor for chemical engineering. And in the chemical engineering, there was there were lecturers. I knew them personally also, particularly Dr. Gopichan and Dr. Srinivasan. And in mathematics, there was do, uh, one Dr. P. S. Srinivasan, no, some other Srinivasan. P. S. Srinivasan was, was my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And later on, some many... Uh, you were many, telling about Lechner, Ebert, they all came later? Lechner. Le Lechner. Le Lechner was already here before I joined. The, the, the agreement between the government of India and the government of German government, Seven. they sent a, a group of people already here. Hmm? And there was one doctor, Professor Kraus. Professor Kraus was already mechan mechanical engineering professor at IIT Karakpur. Because of his experience with India, he was in charge of the planning of the equipment and the education system within the IIT Madras. So, even though Mr. Dr. Krauss were not completely, the, not always here, Professor Lechner was selected for the mechanical engineering and he brought with him Mr. Ebert, Fritz Ebert, who was in charge as a foreman of the central workshops. And another Dr. Scheer was already selected for fluid mechanics and he came along with Dr. Before the fluid mechanics department could be set up. Dr. Sher was also requested to help in 
holding the classes for engineering drawing. Srinivas and I were really disappointed very much about his skill there because he was a skilled hydraulics man. But engineering drawing was not particularly. <laughs> oh, we should be polite. Okay. And Dr. Sher was very good, very successful as setting up the hydraulics laboratory here. And after his contract with the DAD for I, I, IIT Madras, he went back to Germany, could not, uh, I mean, he would have liked to continue in the academic line. And so he took up a uh, chance uh, to join an Institute of Technology in Ethiopia. Also, like IIT Madras, I don't know the level of the, this institute, an, an aid, German aid program. He was, and. Sir, uh, the first director, Professor B. Sim Gupto, he joined after you. Yes. And uh, I think our registrar, first registrar, registrar yes. Mr. R. Netrajan, yes. and first chairman board of governors, yes. Dr. A. L. Mudalia. Yes, yes. You know all three of them. They and are. I don't yeah. know A. L. Mudalia. A. L. Mudalia already at that time, at every time, she was already a ha half god, almost god. Hmm? Yes. Almost god. I am so seri serious about it. People were were actually treating him like a very important person. Yes. Why? He was an educationist, but he was a doctor. Doctor. Ladies doctor. Gynecologist. Gy gynecologist. So people, if a lady has a problem with they would go to him and he was the the best expert. Yes. My mother was a patient of oh. so but you, you don't you don't get to him easily. He was already professor for gynecology at the uh, Madras University at the general hospital that's the and he was the top. So I could not know him. I was very junior. Yes, yes, hmm? yes. So, sir, you have uh, uh, experiences with the director and the first, yeah, yeah. first Natural, director, first uh, director. Rajan, I know. So, uh, how could you please share some experiences? Hmm? Could you please share your experience, any instances, yes, any yes, experiences? Yes. Because it was a transition from just setting up uh, from a borrowed campus, borrowed offices to a campus of our own. Yes. So, experience with director and register and setting up the campus here. Yes. Uh, Natarajan was a young fellow. Right? Compared to Dr. Sengupta, he was younger and was a very good administrator. But I told you, Natarajan was already there, already put in place by the special officer Chandra Khan. Hmm? Natarajan was an IAS officer for the Madras government hmm? and opted hmm, for this job. And his English was great. Hmm? Any lecture, any lecture in Natarajan talks about hmm? was very great. And he, he was very efficient um, administrator and took a lot of responsibility which the director did not want. Hmm? He, the director was interested in building up of this, building up the staff hmm? and he was very much interested in the town planning of this campus. The town planning of this campus was done at Delhi 
in, I don't know which school. Which yeah, school, yeah. yeah, we have some uh, information yes, regarding yes, yes. some architect and so, the town. Uh, yeah. And then, and then the during those days, they were trying to nationalize many things. So there was a company called National Construction Company. It was a contracting company, building company, yeah. owned completely by the government of India. They had the they had the contract to put up all these buildings. These buildings were designed by an architectural firm company in Madras, Ryan Abbott or Davis, hmm? old rest over from the British Times. And the German government made it possible for one for some of their senior staff members to go to Germany and uh, look around educational institutions, the building type of it. Hmm? So, the, for example, the central workshop hmm, with the shell concrete system uh, was quite modern during these days. There is the building Block, building engineering building block. Building sciences block, BSB and central workshop, those were the uh, what, uh, hmm. first buildings on campus. BSB, building sciences block yes. and central workshop. Yes. They were among the first buildings on campus according yes, to that our is right. records. I was trying to say the central workshop was modern architecture, okay. modern building design. Right. Whereas the other, other blocks. Yeah were not only traditional, but old-fashioned. Old-fashioned mean, meaning that to be sure that if it is strong enough, make it thick. It's not an elegant building. I'm sorry. No, no, okay. that's, that's your that, personal that's view. My the, bad yeah, that's that's uh, your personal view. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, when uh, the campus started, like, uh, yeah. Mm, the classes and all started in campus and um, there were residential qua uh, yes. quarters and hostels also for students. Yes. Right. But uh, like did you stay on campus during Initially that not. Time? Initially not. I am a local guy. Hmm? I was I was born and bred up in RDR. Hmm? I lived with my parents. Hmm? and used to come with bicycles. Yes. 59 I started here and I would say till 64 hmm? I used to come by bicycle. Bicycle. Yeah. Hmm? And later on I got a quarter. Got a quarter. Yeah. yeah. So, sir, do you remember the students? Yes. Uh, the, like, uh, like, I think fast batch, uh, 120 students, they joined and they were staying, like before the buildings came here, they yes. were staying in Saidapet uh, uh, hostel and yes. Gindi, yes. Uh, in Gindi, one hostel, yes. one Saidapet, one hostel. And so all those contacts were more through Srinivas. But, but because was, he was the warden? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He, was, he was like me, mm -hmm. two years older. He was from Coimbatore, so he opted to be a ward. Hmm? Yeah. The professor for chemical engineering, Venkateshwarlu, yes. was had experience with ho with hostel management at Karakpur. Right. So he was requested to manage the apart from his teaching work was very efficient and he he persuaded Srinivasan to become one of his wardens. So he lived with the, with the students in, in the hostel hmm? and organized a lot of sport events. We too, Srinivasan and I, accompanied a team from IIT Madras 
to your meet, meet in IIT Bombay, where all IITs is during it, those is days. Is it sports, inter-IIT sports? Yes. I, there we, had, we had fun there. I am not a sportly man, but I could I keep company and yeah. organize a little bit. Yes. Uh, coming to, yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, yeah, please continue. Yes. So coming to the sports, uh, 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 we have this inter IIT sports in IIT Madras yes. in 1964, mm. by chance if you remember, uh, then our chief guest was that time the Indian national cricket team captain, uh, Mansur Ali Khan Patodi, yes. we had some photographs and the stadium, stadium was 64, 64 yeah. was the time when I was sent to Germany. Okay. So that my my stay in IIT Madras, 59 to 68. Hmm? So two years well, I was in Germany. Yes. So yeah. And, I, hmm? Yes, so that time you were not available. No, yes, yeah, I from was 64 not to 66 you were in Germany. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, we have one old photograph hmm. uh, we can uh, uh, given by one alumnus, Dr. Purnima. Her mother was a staff member among the early staff members hmm. who joined, hmm. and uh, probably uh, that photo was taken in CLRI. I, uh, hmm. I hope so because. In, uh, uh, mm. This was one month after mm. IIT was inaugurated. Yes. Because 28th yes, August right, 1959. Right. Mm. So, sir, could you recognize any one of them here? This is me. Oh, you were. Okay. Here? Okay, you right see, here. You mm. see, there was a. Well, that's for a very s s silly problem. Many of the teaching members were young people. And they were just a few years older than the students. And Professor Sengupta said uh, to distinguish students and teachers, hmm, the teacher should wear a tie. Oh. And oh, that's how you were wearing a tie. I could not. Many, yes. of, many of them were. And, and yeah, I could see many of them. So you are here, right here. No, I am here. Without oh, you the, are here without the tie. Without the tie. And because. Because even though we and Srinivasan were confidential people for to Sen Gupta, we were against wearing a tie in this hot climate. Okay. Hmm? Got it. So, so I didn't yeah, you are here and who else you can recognize, sir? I can recognize yeah. this. Hmm. This among three girls, mm. one is Dr. Purnima's, uh, is it Dr. Purnima's mother? Name? What's her name? Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You see the uh, Natarajan is there? Mm. Yeah, Professor Sen yes. Gupta is here. Mm. Mm. This, is Ebert, this, this is Venkatesh Vidal. Yes, mm. and here he is uh, Dr. Do Shear. Dr. Shear. Yeah. And he is doctor, uh, he is Mr. Ebert, yeah. Mr. Ebert. And Professor Koch was here somewhere. Here, Professor yes, Koch Professor from Koch. physics. <laughs> he was, he, he was in physics. Physics. Very, very nice man. Yeah. Mm. And this is, I was telling you, this was Professor for Chemical Engineering. Yes. And this was one Dr. Gopi Chand. Oh, yes. Hmm? So, uh, Professor Go Go Dr. Do Dr. Gopichan, Go Go he was a senior lecturer. Yes, but yes, yes. He, he had already done his doctorate at Andhra University. Right. Hmm? Gopichan. Yeah. We, we were quite good friends. Hmm? Right. And then, I think this is Bhagavad, ba I'm not sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, here all our staff members are administrative staff members and, support, and, supporting, and supporting staff, staff members. Also. Right. Not all of them teaching staff, maybe I think the sitting row and the first row is yeah. teaching staff. Yeah. The rest are uh, administration or workshop people. Hmm? Yeah. So. Uh, then, uh, then this could be in CLRA, isn't it? Where the photo is taken, it could be in CLRA? It is possible. Most possibly, most probably. Most prob possibly yeah. is in yeah. CLRI or, or Alagabha Chitya College. Okay. Yeah. Because right. the background building looks to me like 
अलग अलग चीज़ तैयार करें। Right, ऐसे करें। Right, right, right. Yes, this is quite a photo, iconic photo. <laughs> Just because it's very difficult to get an early photo. Sir, do you have any photos with you as memory no, of IIT Madras? No, I, my family did not own a camera, so I do not. We do not have photos of ourselves as children. No, no photo at all. That's hmm? okay. That's okay. So uh, that's. Purely, purely on an economic economy basis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, my parents could not afford a camera. Yeah, that time okay. it was. That's it. Yeah, hmm? that time it was but, not easy. So, uh, so uh, apart from this, sir, how was the campus, the flora, fauna, that time uh, when campus started, IIT campus? Now we have uh, actually. Uh, uh, as the establishment, as you said, it was under Governor's yes. uh, Raj Bhavan, the area. Yes. And the hostel zone, I think mostly the Taramani yeah. delays. Yes. And that was quite bad. And we, uh, we have photographs where there yes. were actually no, absolutely no trees. Yes. Now, l there are a lot of that trees there. Yes. So, what about the wildlife? How was the wildlife that time? Wildlife. And, yeah. a, and a lake. There was a the lake. lake there, there, now there. also there is a lake. But that time, it seems we have a lot of stories. You see, there's a... I'm from a lo I'm a local fellow, so I'll tell you a small story. Yes. Where the Central Leather Research Institute is, hmm? there was a lake. Hmm? Yes. There was a lake, and there used to be the washermen people washing the clothes and drying it up. And see the Central Leather. Research Institute was planned, so they had to divert the water coming into the lake, divert it away, hmm, so that it would dry. Okay. The land was reclaimed from the lake. Right. It was completely a big lake. Okay. And the water was going through IIT. Hmm, and going towards towards the beach, towards Ariar, right. through the Theosophical Society. Okay. Hmm? Right. So when when heavy rains came, instead of going into the lake, we, the lake was reclaimed. It would be diverted, go beside, beside IIT, go beside Avoy Home, and through the Theosophical Society into Ariar River. Right. So <laughs> that that changed a lot of uh, topology here, hmm? but the wildlife here was because of the hunting grounds. The governor, the British governor, bought this land for next to nothing, hmm? cheating people and getting the land. Hmm? I'm sorry, <laughs> and. Because it was fenced out, the wildlife flourished here. And still, there used to be some poachers yes. coming from the village because the, the, the meat of the deer is supposed to be a luxury. Also, that used to be. And we, I, I am as, as a small boy. We knew only Gindi College, hmm? Engineering College, and towards RDR, almost next to nothing, and then go to the Elliot's Beach. Hmm? So things have changed today quite a bit. And when I lived here in the, on the campus, uh, it's difficult for people to grow any vegetables in the garden mm. because it starts growing the next day it's gone <laughs> the deer, deer has, will uh, so were there monkeys also hmm? that time hmm? monkeys now there are a lot of monkeys were there monkeys also oh, yeah, that time of course, of monkeys course. also monkeys so monkeys and deer they will just monkey spoil and the garden deer were all, always there hmm. and uh, i think uh, iit has followed the wildlife and the, and the botany 
here very well because previously we we knew it's a forest but right. nothing else okay yeah yeah hmm? yeah yeah so yeah so the, here i got the information uh, in the photograph who hmm. has contributed purnima was uh, dr purnima was alumnus of iit madras hmm. uh, i think 1984 she ah. passed out and her mom mm -hmm. uh, was mrs rg uh, lalita devi who is mm. one of the first uh, members maybe the middle yeah. one of yeah. this this three among the three uh, mm -hmm. who, uh, lady members yeah. who were there so she is rg lalita devi mm. so Uh, if you remember Arjil Lalita Devi by chance, so who who is she among the three? Hmm. I think it's this lady, but okay. I'm not sure. Okay, that's okay. Mm. That's okay. I think I, I have, mm. that's what I mm. I remember also. Mm. Yeah. You see, this is this is so early. Yeah, hmm? yeah. But I've, after after the institute started, my my boss. Hmm? Doctor Arjira Narayan Murthy, mechanical engineering professor. He is not there. He is not here. He is not yet there. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yeah, yeah. He came mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, so sir, uh, it's a uh, like uh, mm -hmm. a lot of memories, lot yes. of nostalgia, yes. nostalgia involved. Nost all. Completely. Uh, so, mm -hmm. any particular anecdote you'd like to share? If you remember anything, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of experience. You see the. i think i i'm uh, i think many of the students during the first few years hmm, they were extremely intelligent guys but as you know many of the students had problem with manual work so they hated workshop workshop yes <laughs> they hated they had carpentry they hated fitting and all that and also drawing <laughs> so i i had the feeling about two thirds and, and no one third of the class hated me they <laughs> hated no because i I was earnest. She knew us. We were earnest in teaching them, so we were demanding, hmm? and it was difficult for certain people. No, it's it is. I tried to tell you, we are talking about three-dimensional objects being projected on paper to use. to make two dimensional drawings hmm? that is my subject right okay right. now now a person who is who has who has a good imagination of three dimensions he finds it fun fun right a person who has problem imagining in three dimensions finds it tough hmm? like but now with the computer yes computer it's a it's a big boon for intelligent people who have difficulty in three dimensional thinking the computer is a big boon it shows you a part turns it around shows you from below shows you you can turn it from below side everything and therefore it's a, and getting used to this the same person who had a difficulty to think about think in three dimensions is able to think it yes that's right that's that's, right. that's great because computer has helped everyone yeah, now terrible, terrible. yeah yeah the time has changed everything has yes, changed yes yes mm -hmm. yes so thank you very much sir thank professor padmanavan actually uh, again it's an honor and it's a privilege and i am really happy uh, that uh, you are here and you could share all your experiences yeah. mm -hmm. so thank you very much sir yeah. thank you thank you